Show me all the places I've never known. Hey guys, what's up? Um, just doing a video about these full locks. Let me take them down. I have different lengths in my hair, different colors. Um, black at the top and blue at the bottom. Don't mind if I keep looking this way because my mirror is right here. Um, and I decided to do these smaller, shorter than the normal ones that I do. Um, and if you notice, some of them, you know, they're all different lengths. Like I have some shorter than others. And don't mind because I do get quite a bit of dandruff and I'm going to uh, moisturize my scalp tonight before I go to sleep. But I just wanted to show you guys how um, I do my faux locks. So I have some here. Just pulling them down. Some of these are really stiff. And what I do to unstiffen them is, you know, like put them in like a bun when I go to sleep. Then that way when I wake up, they are um, loose. So that's why this one is like stiff sticking out and versus like these which are like looser. And if you notice these are like laying down more than these are because these are the ones that I recently did. But let me show you guys how I do the faux lock. So I'm just going to put these back and I just put them back in the ponytail. And you can do obviously any color you want because there it's yarn so that's what I like about it I think next I'm gonna do our Packer colors which will be awesome so I'm just putting these putting these away just put them in ponytail and then I got you know this one is being a pain there we go so I got the little bit of hair that I got left here that I need to do so I have some scissors, which you're going to need. Um, I just got some hair clips to, you can use any type of clips to clip the hairs away so you're not getting them caught. Um, just got a comb. I just got a rat tooth comb. Um, you're going to need a lighter if you are burning your ends. So make sure you grab a lighter and you're going to need some yarn. And what you want to do with these, with this is, um, to get the length that you want to do, obviously if you want to do shorter, you're going to take less yarn and vice versa. Um, and the length that it's going to be is when you fold the one piece in half, that's how long your braid is going to be because you have to think it braids down like this. So when you have, you know, you want to do the uh, a length that you like, but like I said, when it's folded in half, that's going to be the length that your full locks is going to be. So mine's is just about like I do maybe about two and a half or two feet probably, and then you want to get it's going to be about nine pieces on average about nine pieces per full lock that you have to cut so um, you do and I use three for every piece that I do so I do three pieces of yarn for the um, braid the actual single braid I do three for the first set of wrappings which takes it to about the middle then I use another three to twist it to, for the bottom so you're gonna need about nine pieces so I'm gonna sit here and I'm going to cut these so, you know, I just take the one and use that for measurement for the next. And then I just keep pulling it. You know, I have it sitting in the sink so it's not rolling everywhere. So that's, on, I'm dropping out on the floor. That's how I get it. And I mean, if they're not even, so what? You know, who cares that they're not even? You just keep cutting. And you just keep cutting. So what you want to do, like I said, three pieces per thing. And what I do, since all of them are even, I match up one end here to where all the ends are even. And if you notice, the other ends, they aren't as even, but it doesn't matter. And I fold it in half to where it's even. And I normally hold it like this because I'm going to use a piece of my hair as the third part of the braid. You know how you take three pieces to do a braid? I'm using my hair as the third part. So what I'm going to do is grab this stuff out of the 
the seam. And I'm going to part my hair however you want it to be parted. So I'm just using this to get this part out of the way. So I have this parted here and this is going to be about two full locks. So I'm just parting them. I'm just parting with my fingers. I mean, if you want to be more perfect and do it with a comb, go right ahead. Normally, I use my comb just to comb out the piece. So what I'm doing with the hair clip is just clipping this other second part back so it's not in the way. So I have this part for the single braid. Take this yarn. Like I said, hold it like this because what you're going to do is you're going to put it around your hair so as you see and what you want to do is you want to make sure you grip it up here at the top and then you're going to do like as if you're doing a box braid and you're using your hair as that third piece and you're just braiding down and it doesn't have to be perfect as you notice my box braid is coming down I'm not a professional at box braids but the wrapping of the other yarn kind of covers it up so yeah you just braid it down and my hair is short because you guys know I got a haircut. So I'm going to go down like this. And then right here I'm at the end where my hair is stopping. What I'm going to do is hold it like this. You want to take just one piece of the yarn and you actually want to wrap it around. You kind of want to like tighten it. You're making like a knot around because that's going to hold your braid in. And I usually do it twice, and then the rest of it's just hanging down. But I have that one box braid in my hair. And, sorry guys, <laughs> just standing here, my thighs are just throbbing. But, I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> but, yes. Um, so, I got this box braid, so now we're going to get to the part of dreading it out, so to speak. And that's wrapping the yarn around the box braid. My dog is trying to um, jump up to the sink to get some water. She's sitting on the toilet right now, sitting on the toilet seat. No, Mama, get down. I'll get you some water when I'm done, okay? <laughs> She's a mess, you guys. And what I do again is getting the one end even. And like I said, the other ends doesn't have to be even. As you see, like these, these three are not even really even at all. You see that? But that doesn't matter. So what you want to do is, you got your box braid here, you want to take just a little piece like this and you want to put it to the point where, if you notice, I'm trying to, uh, black on black doesn't help, but I'm just holding it like this up against the braid and the rest of it's hanging. And what you want to do is, you want to spin it, you want to twist the yarn around, but you want to make sure you do it over that the little strands that you just put up against it because that's going to hold it on and you're going to twist it you're going to twist this yarn around oops I'm hitting the camera you're just going to keep twisting it and you kind of want to pull tight because you want these to stay and sometimes what I do to make sure that it's not you know, going way lower is I'll go like this just to make sure that it's, you know, up and I don't have a lot of spacing in between. And I'm just twisting. You just keep twisting it around this box braid. Keep twisting it. Alright, and so I'm getting to the part, if you notice, this is the ends of the hair that I'm twisting and I twisted it on there pretty good. And what I want to do is I'm going to start the next set of yarn. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these, just like you did the box braid. You want to hold all the rest of the hair down with the, with the other part of the yarn. And you want to tie this off, just like you did the box braid. Because you, you don't want the twisting to come down. So you just put it through. And you hold it and you see here now it's staying set and the only reason I do that with the ends of this part like I when I first started doing box braids I didn't do that I just added the next set of hair and kept going and I noticed that it started unraveling so you want to make sure 
then at the end of each twist you tie them off like that and like I said I do it about twice you can do it more if you want to make sure that it's gonna hold but you don't necessarily have to but when you go I'm getting my next three strands of hair um, when you're going into twisting this second batch of yarn to the same thing you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna take this little pieces like this you're gonna put it up against it you know hold it together with that other hair come on work with me here see you're gonna hold it together and you're just gonna twist and you want to make sure you go the same way because you don't want to unravel the other twisting that you did so any twist tight and you just want to keep going and I started off slower and I learned how to go faster with it and tight and you can feel it up here at the roots when you're twisting it that it gets tighter up there as well so just keep twisting it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it I'm gonna play it back in slow-mo so you guys can get the gist of it I'm not gonna talk over it I'm just gonna show it you guys in slow-mo while I finish the end of this and then I'll show you how I burn the ends of my full locks yarn and for this say for instance I wanted this full lock a little bit longer and I do have enough yarn to make it longer these three pieces here are from the the yarn that I just twisted but as you notice they're really short what I do is I go and I grab three long strands from down here like this and then I put these that I just wrapped with the rest of them but you want to keep hold of it or it's going to start unraveling then I use these three long ones that I just pulled up and I start twisting those and I noticed doing that that it doesn't come apart either even though I'm using three other pieces of yarn and then I just make it a little bit longer but what you're going to want to do is pick the longest piece and if these pieces are too short you can pull one of these as well I tend to notice that it works good with that hold it all down together and you want to tie it you want to knot the ends like you did all the other parts that is essential because you do not want these to come apart and I pull pretty tight and then I do it a second time like I said you can do it more times if you want alright there we go and here is the finished full lock and what I do with the scissors is I have all these frilly ends I go maybe like an inch below the knot and I cut off the axis so I still have this and then what I do next is I take my lighter and please be careful with this if you don't want to burn the ends you don't have to but I do keep an eye on it blow it out and you want it to cool off I tend to go up a little bit just to harden it let it cool off some you don't want it to burn your hands and then you roll the ends in your palm just roll it in your palm here and if you noticed here's the burned end and it looked to me the burned ends look a little bit cleaner and you notice how stiff this lock is but that is how you do the full locks and I will show you guys the finished product when I'm all done okay hey guys they are all finished like I said don't mind my dandruff I'm going to moisturize today because I am one to get quite a bit of dandruff um, but um, I did the so-called box size for these kind of bigger because I wanted less locks this time because the last time I did them I had really long ones and really small squares and they just took forever um, if I had help that time then I probably would have um, did them a little bit smaller I mean you know like I would have done these again that way but um, I don't want to put anybody through that <laughs> so yeah they are all finished and like I said some of them are still stiff because they are new and I did blue at the bottom and black at the top 
and I really like um, how they turned out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear them in a high bun um, just to get them all loose. So if you guys ha um, try it, this full locks, and you like post a picture on Instagram or something, please tag me in it because I would love to see those. And if you have any questions on them, please do not hesitate to ask. Leave them all down in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video of showing you how I do my faux locks. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.